Divergence in Curl, Part 3. In Part 1 and Part 2, we established three-dimensional curl and three-dimensional divergence. In this video, we will examine the general rotation field in three dimensions. The general rotation field in three dimensions starts with a constant vector a. Let a be a non-zero constant vector and let r be the radial, uh, um, I'm sorry, yeah, the radial vector field x, y, z. The general rotation field in three dimensions is the cross product of A cross R. I went ahead and found the cross product for you. And what I'd like to do is give this cross product a little bit of meaning. Let's first uh, think about a constant vector that is parallel to the x-axis. When a is parallel to the x-axis, the resultant vector field is a two-dimensional rotation field with axes in the i or the x direction. When a is parallel to the y-axis, the rotation vector field is a two-dimensional rotation field with axes in the j direction. And when A is parallel to the z axis, F is a two-dimensional rotation field with axes in the z or the k direction. Now, if we add up these three fields, we get the rotation, the general rotation field with axes in the direction of the vector A. What would the divergence of this rotation vector field be? Divergence is equal to zero. As with every rotational vector field we have seen so far, the divergence of the general rotation vector field is zero. What about the cross product? To find the cross product, or the, the curl, I need, to, um, I need to set up this determinant. Notice, uh, I just want to remind you, the J component has a negative in front of it. You always have a negative in front of your J component with a cross product. All right, my I component, and then my J component, and lastly, my uh, K component, make up the curl. Now, this is an interesting result. Look at what I have. For the i component, I have a1 uh, minus a negative a1. That is twice of a1. And my j component is twice of a2. And my k component is twice of a3. So the curl of f is twice of a. So the curl of the general rotation field is in the direction of the axes of rotation. It's really interesting. So we start with a vector a. We make, from that vector a, we make a, a rotation vector field. Now, its axes of the rotation vector field, its axes is in the direction of a, the curl of the vector field is twice of A. Suppose a paddle wheel is placed in the general rotation field, and it's placed at a point P. Now suppose the paddle wheel has its axes in the direction of, say, N. How should N be chosen? Uh, so how should the paddle wheel, uh, the direction of the paddle wheel be chosen so that the paddle wheel spins the fastest? 
Now I'm, I'm making uh, n be a unit vector because it makes the math a little bit easier. The scalar component of curl uh, f in the direction of n is the magnitude of uh, the cross product of the curl uh, times the cosine of the angle between the curl and uh, my paddle wheel, the axis of my paddle wheel. Now for which values of theta is the scalar component of the curl of f the greatest? Well, rotation is a maximum when theta is equal to um, zero, meaning that rotation is a maximum when the curl of f and my paddle wheel are parallel. Let's just end with an example. Um, let a be, our vec be the vector 1, negative 1, 1. And we're going to make a, uh, a rotation vector field from this vector a. So, and then we're going to find the direction of the curl of f. So first, find f. What is the uh, rotation vector field that results from this vector a? The cross product of a and r when you're done should look like this. What about the curl of the vector field? That is uh, del cross f. What is that going to be? The curl of f, you should get 2, negative 2, 2. Now notice that the curl of f is twice the value of a. And so the direction of curl of f is in the d direction of a and is twice the value of a, um, which is probably not a big surprise. And um, here is a picture of what we were doing, our, uh, our vector a that we started with gives us a rotation vector field f, and we just found that the curl of f is twice of a. And that ends 15.5 uh, uh, divergence in curl. The next video will be uh, moving on to 15.6. Thank you, take care, and have a great day.